hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to find satellite images of flooded area of our area of interest occurred in the past in specific date we are going later on to display those uh, images in quantum gis and to style it for that we are going to use the copernicus browser which is a free user-friendly tool that allows user to explore and download high resolution satellite imagery from all copernicus missions we are going to use only free accessible images and specifically sentinel 1 and sentinel 2 but through copernicus you can have access to other satellites in video 1 we are dealing with sentinel 1 that deliver radar images that are going to take images even through the cloud what is very interesting for our case because flooding normally occurs when the weather is cloudy and in the second video we are going to use sentinel 2 the other satellites are accessible but the resolution is not so good and not really adequate for our part as a first step we are going to open quantum gis we zoom to our area of interest again we go to republic of congo in beto then we open copernicus browsers we register or we log in in this case I have already an account therefore I do not need to register we zoom into the area of interest in that case it is B2 Republic of Congo we might change the layers so B2 is somewhere here we have to create our area of interest with this tool done then as a next step we can define the satellite that we are going to use in this case for the first video it is sentinel one it gives me automatically some default band combination but i do not really want to use the default band combination i want a custom band combination to do that i need to click on the date here I have to choose the date when I know that the main flooding was occurring in Beto. I know that the flooding was occurring on the 23 December. And here I can see that on the 23 December I have three possible images. Here I have possible band combination, but I want a custom band combination. So I click on custom and here I have the possibility to play around with the different way bands. But I do not have this knowledge. I want to work with custom script. Custom script in Copernicus browsers works in Java. And also there I do not have the right knowledge. That's why I will take the help of the chat GPT. I enter to my chat GPT and as a first step I will try to have a specialized tool for Sentinel satellite. I explore the several versions. I type satellite sentinel and here I have a focus engine in chat GPT I start the chat and here I need to write the right prompt I've prepared some prompt here the prompt that I will use is following this is going to be copy and paste below the video write a javascript for copernicus browsers focused on sentinel one image to detect water bodies flood zones wetland and dryland differentiate between permanent water temporary flooding wetland condition and dryland assign the color deep blue for permanent water light blue for temporary float cyan green for wetland and white for land smooth the result i copy this prompt and I paste it into my chat GPT. Here it is. I run and I wait for the result. This takes some time. It explains step by step what is doing and also it is giving the JavaScript. The JavaScript is very well developed and it helps you to understand what are those single steps for in case you understand java and it's explain how to use the script in copernicus browsers it gives you as well the legend so i take now the script and i paste the script in my java browser here down there i choose the right date 
1st of December 23 and I paste the script here and I apply. This JavaScript is going to be pasted as well below the video. Here I can see the floating occurs on the 1st of December 23. I can do the same for the 13th of December. I see we have more water and now I can do the 25th of December. I have also water and why not? I can do it as well on the 6th of January 24. Okay, I have four pictures. Now I want to download those four pictures. I start with this one. I go to this icon, download image. Here I will go to analytical. I will take an image that it is georeferenced. Tiff 8 bit is fine. Custom. And I wait for preview and I download. Done. Now I take the picture of December 23 on the 25th of December there was a big floating at that day and again I download this image analytical 8-bit waiting for preview maybe there is no need to wait I download done and now I do the same for the 13th of December 2023 I go to analytical 8 and download fine and the last one would be on the 1st of december 23 again analytical 8 bit and download fine now i can upload those images into quantum gis i open my quantum gis here again i have my area of interest b2 with my refugee site and a background image of uh, open street map so i upload my raster I will go to download and it will take the first image of the 1st of December. I open it at close. I open the second one. That's the 13th of December. At the third one, 25th of December. And the last one in January 20. Okay. Now let's look around our site. So we see that it changed always a lot. Now what we want to do is to vectorize these four images. We start with the first image of the 1st of December 23. I go to raster, polygonize. I choose the right input layer. I keep the end like it is and I click run. Fine. I change the name and I call it 23. One, two, zero, one. I do the same for the next image. That's the 13th of December, 23. Raster, polygonize. This time I choose the 13th. This one, I run. I change the name. I call it 23, 12, 1, 3. Now I do it with this 25th of December. Raster. Polygonize, 25 December, run, close, I call it 25 December, 23, 1, 2, 25, and now the last one, January 24, raster, polygonize, and run, close, and also I change the name, 24, 0, 1, 0, Six. Now I have my four vector layers. Let's compare this one with this one. I click on editing icon. I select this one. Everything which is dry I delete. So this is just the water now. I do the same for the next one. I delete. This is just the water. I do the same for this one. And I do the same for this one. Okay, now I have just the water, the flooded area during this period. What I need to do is to merge all those four layers. Okay, here we have now our situation with the four files. What we need to do now is to merge the four 
vector files together, we go under processing toolbox and we type merge. Merge vector layers. We choose the four vector layers and we run it. We can take away those one. Here we have the merged one. Okay, but now still I can see that the layout is not so beautiful. Now what I need to do is to dissolve those elements. I type here dissolve of the merged layer. This might take some time. I will speed up the video. Keep in mind that we have a 10 meters resolution due to the resolution of the satellite images. Fine. Now we can improve a little bit the style. Uh, we smooth it a little bit. I type under processing toolbox smooth of the dissolved one and here I put under offset 0.5. Okay, now I have the final result, which is this one. I make it blue and a little bit transparent. So transparent, 40%, blue, and I will take out the solid line. Okay, fine. Now I can see my floating map in uh, December 23. This map doesn't show you the centimeter of float, but at least it shows where we had water and where we didn't have water or mud. At this point, you can rename this smoothed layer. I call it float December 23. And be careful, this is a temporary file that we are going to make permanent and we call it float December 23. In the next video, we are going to see the result with Sentinel-2 and we are going to compare the two results. Thank you very much for following to the end.